Hello everyone, Salaamu Alaikum, this is Fino, thank you very much for taking your precious time to watch me play the last, or what could possibly be the last episode of, um, last episode, I should really think of something else other than last episode. The last, or maybe the last final mission of Metal Gear Survive, it's been one heck of a ride. During this portion I won't be talking much to you know, emphasize on how much of a last thing it is. After when I do reach the eminent game credits and such, I'll give my th final thoughts about the um, game and such. Anyway, at this point I won't be speaking much. I'll put my mic even on mute so that um, you would get into the feeling of the game. So, without further ado, let's start the ending. And I'll see you guys at the other side. Bye bye. Capturing the Lord of Dust will take some time. But our other enemies won't remain on the sidelines during this process. Everyone, I want to thank you for your help. All right, commencing operation. Generating wormhole. You want to rethink this, now's the time. You wait until now to say that? Can you two lovebirds save it for later? Same for you and your lectures, old man. Okay, everybody ready? Good luck, Chris. Good luck, Chris. Good luck, Chris. 
power to back you up. And we're back. So, if um, you haven't guessed it, let me just um, do it like this. Oh, okay, that doesn't get rid of it. Okay, so let me just uh, reduce so that I would have a better time talking, reduce the audio. So, if you haven't noticed, um, what I just did now was not the normal ending. Actually, what I did was the secret ending, or as it's supposed to be thought of as the canon ending. 
supposedly everything that just happened you know, the detail, dust, Lord of Dust, and all that shenanigans. Even the people, Miranda, uh, everyone else, Chris. Supposedly they all did not exist. Supposedly this is just us being messed up in their brain. This is, you're basically the character that we're playing basically, is basically the wandering soldier that you save in Phantom Pain. So that's how Metal Gear Survive is connected to Me uh, Phantom Pain. That's how it's supposedly canon. The original way, if you did not go for the uh, secret ending, supposedly you go to face this based on what I've seen. You go against three waves of Wanderers, each one in a different location, and then after that you go and use the railgun that's been you that's that's been on uh, Sahel Anthropus. You aim at um, the Lord of Dust. You shoot it, but it doesn't die. What happens is Virgil sacrificed themselves to introduce the concept of death to Lord of Dust. After that, Lord of Dust dies. Everyone's happy, and that's all. When I began playing with Metal, began playing Metal Gear Survive, I had no intentions of doing the normal ending. All I wanted to do was the secret ending, because I wanted to. Now I know that the secret ending was extreme lackluster. It was there was no action, there was no intense part and such. But to be honest, I have grown weary of this game. Uh, I've been playing it for too long, but. The best part is that I managed to beat this without dying even once. My final saying about this game is that this game was given an unfair judgment. I am 100% sure not everyone will like this game, but I think people should give it a second try. Actually, during this entire time, after last episode, I've been thinking fairly well and hard of what to say about this game when I complete it. What I want to say is, people gave it an unfair trial. It's like they immediately judged it, or even if they did judge it, they played it with full hatred or even some unbiasedness. I am 100% sure, like people like Young Gia, Angry Joe, and other people, they gave it its fair trial. But I suggest people to try it again. It's much more better than what it was before. So much better that. It has seen improvements. It has seen some, some better. It ha it ha it's now seeing some advancements. There's be there are updates happening. There are regular maintenances. There are things being added to the game. There are events. Yes, there are, it's all online, but it shows that there's some activity going on. And I think people should try it again or at least give it another chance review it again give it like a one year after one year of release because i had fun with the game like despite all the issues that i had with the game i had fun i i, I had fun with the game i liked how the guns worked i liked the these the spears the weapons i liked how sometimes it felt like the stealth was sometimes good or Yes, the enemies were idiots, but it felt satisfying when you hit them in the head or when you completed, an, uh, when you S-ranked an online mission. It felt amazing. And uh, I feel like people should give it another... Tr the main part about this, what I'm saying right now is people should give it another chance. Yes, people hated the spies and everything, but you, it should be given another chance. Not because of Konami because of the developers working in this game. They have worked hard in this one, and I've seen it, and I'm seeing it. So if you, if, if not for, if not for this game, then at least for the developers who made this. Because they don't have a say in it, unfortunately. And I think I have said enough about this. Eventually I'm going to be repeating everything I'm saying and um, won't, be make, won't be making much of a difference. So, this is the final, this is the fi uh, I don't know, final season, final round, final bout, this is the last time I'll be playing Metal Gear Survive.
And after that, we'll be playing another game, and I hope you guys enjoy it very much. So, this is Phenol signing off. Thank you very much for taking your precious time to watching me play Metal Gear Survive. I wish you all the best, and remember people, stay classy. Bye-bye!